thank you, Congressman Waltz. Um, I especially want to thank Congressman Stivers. Um, he's been so committed to passing this bill, and um, I wish him all the best. And I want to say, as I said yesterday, this is really for Senator Tillis's benefit. Um, my biggest issue with working on this bill was not that it was bipartisan, was not that Congressman Stivers was a Republican, but if I, as a Michigander, can work with someone from Ohio this closely, <laughs> if, I can, if I can tag team with someone who went to Ohio State University, then anything is possible. Senator, please get this done. Um, I, I will say we have two of these veteran service dog organizations in my district. Um, Blue Star Service Dogs and Veteran Service Dogs, and I have gotten a chance to visit and see with my own eyes what the impact of a dog plus a veteran who is suffering can have. Um, I met people like Shane, he's a Navy vet who adopted and trained his service dog. And just to be very specific about it, um, the dog wakes him up from nightmares. He picks up things that he's dropped. Um, he helps him manage large crowds and get through it um, with dignity. And the issue is particularly personal to me just because I'm an army wife. Um, my stepdaughter is currently active duty. My, my other stepdaughter is a physician for the VA. So this issue that I've seen up close and personal, and as everyone has said here, it's far past time that the VA understand this. The trainers that are here, the veterans that are here, they understand the combination of what a service dog and a suffering veteran mean. And it's just far past time where the VA can mention and notice the same thing. Um, I'm very much hoping that we can do this for, for uh, uh, Representative Stivers as he heads off into his next job. Um, I feel particularly it's important now more than ever to show a bipartisan effort to get something done. It is still possible, and I think we stand in support of that. So with that, I will hand it off to Representative Rumpf.